Hello everyone, this is Monsters and Mechanics, a brand new modded series full of things to explore and machines to create. This custom mod pack combines large technical mods like Create, as you can see behind me, and Tech Reborn along with many RPG and exploration focused mods like leveling systems, skills, and all sorts of random modifiers added to loot. And speaking of loot, there's a variety of new terrain and biomes to explore because we have a uh, biomes of plenty and it's very, very pretty, as well as lots of loot filled dungeons to conquer. And of course, the best part about it is I don't know how most of this stuff works. Heck, I can't remember most of the things I added. But as you can see, we've been established for a little bit. This is our spawn area right here. And I've set up quite the chest monster already. We have some basic create stuff to help us along with some of the automation that we need to do to get us going. So we have a mixer set up here, a little bit of a smasher, and we have a encased fan that's being used to smelt things. And this, of course, is driven by uh, some water wheels that we have inside of this the stone right here um, along with of course our waystone to help us get to different places on the server and my favorite addition of all the mega parrot a rideable parrot that is covered in armor so the vibe I've been trying to create with this mod pack is kind of like a Final Fantasy this is our chocobo and I think we've accomplished that quite a bit and you'll see there are lots of elements to explore with it so starting things off, of course, we have lots of different relics that we can have that give us different stat boosts. We have a leveling system, and this adds different boosts to our health and damage, armor, all sorts of things like that, uh, which makes us, of course, very strong, <laughs> very fast. Um, but that's not to say that there won't be a challenge because the enemies are going to be getting stronger as well and there's a variety of different mobs out there in the world and different structures to find and things to do um, we also have of course our fun little backpack so this one is a squid model which actually allows me to breathe underwater which is kind of fun but yeah lots of variety of weapons um, we have our different tools you'll see some of these stone shovels and whatnot but, uh, minecraft dungeon weapons uh, lots and lots of things so, what are we going to be working on today? Well, with all of these wonderful things that we've been getting, and I've been doing a lot of, like, kind of boating out there and exploring the map, and we have explored quite a bit. We have our wonderful Atlas map here that kind of shows us where in the world we've explored. I've marked a few things that I need to visit, like a dungeon and a cool village there. Um, we did find Stowe, who's also on the server with us. I'm still... And P Corp, I think, is also a little bit in this area right here. And when we find their base again, we'll have to mark it on the map. And Tarek, Leone, and Zero are out there somewhere. And once I find their bases, I'll mark them down too. Anyways, back to what we we're doing today. I'm getting so sidetracked. So, um, with all of the stuff that we've been going around and gathering, I've been getting quite a few different enchantment books and, of course, different armor pieces, but I don't have ways to enchant them because I don't have enough levels. So we need an XP farm. So what better way to get XP? Well, with a spawner farm. But this is not going to be any normal spawner farm, of course. Because over here with Create, we're going to do things... A little crazy. So, our main <laughs> way we're going to do this is with the cart assembler. It's a fun little tool that allows us to do all sorts of things, like creating contraptions. And the way we do that is we put down a rail, cart assembler, put a cart here, and then things can go on top of that. For example, say one of these contraptions what could this be why it's a witch spawner ah. did not mean to do that oh did not mean to do that either go back okay well we need to lock this 
There we go. Okay. So anyways, <laughs> the uh, witch spawner actually comes from one of the new structures in the game, which is a witch castle, which I think it's a castle. And we're able to grab spawners. And so that's what I've done. I have visited a few of those and we have a bunch of witches right here um, and a bunch of skeleton spawners. So I think a total of 28, but we're only really gonna need 27 of them. So I'm gonna go ahead over to our mountain build site over here and let's take a look at what we're gonna do with those. This is basically gonna be like your normal mob XP farm, mob spawner XP farm. And the way it's gonna work is we're gonna have a spawner inside there, we're, or 27 spawners. And then there's gonna be something pushing them. In this case, instead of the usual water, we're gonna have fast moving conveyor belts to move things along really fast. Then instead of one bubble column, I have bubble columns along the whole back there. They're going to um, swoop up and then swoop back down into a killing area in the middle there. So we're gonna cover this whole thing with a facade of a mausoleum. And with that, I've got the parts to do that. And um, you'll notice we have some of these cool new blocks. These are from Chip and some big deep slate big bricks. Uh, Chip is a mod that allows us to add different textures to our vanilla blocks. So for example, if I wanted grass to look like stone bricks, I could do that. Um, if I wanted, you know, the stone bricks to look like prismarine, I could do that. Um, so we need to actually craft up a few more of these chip workbenches to uh, convert this stuff over, and then we'll be ready to go to start building. But before we do all that, I gotta sleep. So before we even get any further here, I think it's important that we figure out how we got here in the first place. So let's talk about how we got some of these spawners and a quick adventure I went on with peep a little bit ago that's so good it looks like we're gonna go to school <laughs> we're gonna school <laughs> some monsters <laughs> oh it's a pigeon so these right here are for a mod that we have to send mail to each other with pigeons i don't oh i don't know what we do to tame them but that's cool Probably. He's my pigeon friend. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, that's different. That's a thing. What? Over here. That. Oh, that's new. That pillager tower is in a, a building. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect place for it. They get along very nicely. <laughs> it's an enchanted player, a regular player head. Which is coming. <laughs> oh, three witches. Okay. Oh, there's four. Get up there. gonna last for a while. You never take me alive. Oh my gosh, there's so many skeletons down here. Stairs are awful. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Richard? Get out. Really going and light it. Ah. 
Lovely. All right. Uh, this one is clear, I think. Oh, actually, there's more. Ah, baby. Baby on chicken. <laughs> This is somehow worse. Oh. Sure. Oh man, that dynamo thing really is awesome. The 20 points of damage. Oh my god, it's these penguins! Yeah. Now dance. Oh, dance, happy feet. He's so sweet. Alright. Later, friend. Don't bite. Don't bite. All right, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse and get this thing built. So this is our mausoleum XP farm. Now I've got all of our decorations in place and it's pretty much ready to go except for obviously the spawners and the conveyor belts which we're going to add in last here. But before we do all that and seal this up so that we can get some spawns in there, let me show you the inside real quick. So here's our enchantment setup where we've got a different chest for storing our lapis and just books and whatever not you know we want to do uh, a few different anvils to kind of get us going um, our storage system down here which is going to be woefully backed up and i've made a I've, I've left this open to go ahead and create something to dispose of items uh, we'll get to that maybe a little bit later and then basically what's going to happen is we're going to have all the mobs um, funnel through down the bottom they shoot up to water stream and get combined down into these two areas right here where I will be smacking away at them and then their items will fall immediately into this chute for which I expect this to be completely backed up because it's not going to be able to keep up with hopper speed once it's going. But that's fine. This is an XP farm. This isn't a drop farm. Um, we'll have to make something a little bit better for like mob drops later on. But I mean, certainly we'll collect a lot and I've got, you know, uh, 18, oh, what do I have? Yeah, 18 double chests. So I think that should be enough to get us going. So let's go ahead and get down in this hole, <sighs> stupid dragonflies, and get these cards put in, or the car assembler to put in our spawners. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get down here safely. I think if I aim right there and I will slam myself into the ground these things are super obnoxious they keep lying down and then getting stuck inside here 
Inside here, of course, we had a couple water wheels that's gonna be driving this giant shaft right here, which is going to, I'm gonna have shaft on the other side as well over here. And then we have our bubble columns um, going up. And then I have these spaced a little bit differently because of the way that they're gonna combine at the end. I need to make sure that um, the center wasn't taking more fall damage than it needed to be. Our spawners are gonna go in right here. So we have to be very careful because if we put a cart assembler down the wrong spot, it will override the stuff up top here, our glass. And so we need to start from the top and work our way down. Be very careful. Let's start with this one. Uh, cart assembler. Let's put the stuff in place. Lever. Okay. And as you can see, we did it wrong. I mean, clearly, I just wanted to see if you guys were paying attention, obviously. That is not what we want to do. <laughs> now that we have it at the correct height, we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and place our assembler down again. And our contraption. Perfect. And then now, should be able to just collect it. Not that. <laughs> and we throw it all the ground. All right. Now 26 more to go. There it is. 27. Spawners are one giant three by three by three cube of death. So now we just need to get our conveyor belts in and then escape. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't go this far. Uh, nobody told me there was a limit to this. So as soon as I, well, we could go for, eh, I'm not going to try to get, dig myself out. Let's, oh, we may have no choice. There we go. Okay, so the way we get this started is we flip this lever, which should turn all the lights off. Um, I believe if we're standing, actually I changed the design of this, so I'm not, hopefully I'm still within range of these, which appears to be the case. Good, good. So now let's, um, flip our lever and see the magic happen. So first thing we're going to see is, um, let's see, oh actually, you know what, I don't know if I'm within, hmm, well that's unfortunate, at least we got one, that's <laughs> certainly not what we're looking for, so I had to make some changes to our bonding situation here. So I had to go back down in here and move all of these again um, over two blocks to get them closer to where we were actually killing them. They were just outside of range because I had changed up the design of how I had this uh, since I you know, put together the schematic and built all this. So now um, it should be much easier uh, to get everything to spawn. We just need to now go down and flip the switch. And you hear the, the mayhem already. Now we just start whacking away. Of course, this will be a lot of 
easier with a sort of sweeping edge on it, which I'm hoping to get pretty soon. But yeah, it's working at least. And if I want just like mob drops, I think I can just let them pile up and then they will eventually just entity cram to death. And then of course, you know, running this a little bit, I've already gotten quite a bit. Antidote. Whatever that is. Oh yeah, you can see lots of stuff piling in. Uh, all sorts of different gear. Um, I'll have to go through all this and even some like special things. Chaos in here. Alright, we need to get mending on our weapons because it is destroying the stuff. Plus five. I'm curious if we can even put mending on this. It's unbreaking three. Mending. Let's take a look. I'll throw this in here. Can I put unbreaking three? Yes, I can. How about Mendy? Yes, I can. Three. Two. Can we enchant this? Shockwave, refreshment, sharpness. Well, let's start off with this so we can repair this at least. Cloud. This weapon is awesome, so I haven't gotten a chance to show it off, but it has an extended reach, so I can hit from further away. It does a ton of damage, and uh, plus it has this poison cloud now that will cause poison to come out every once in a while and do an AoE uh, type of damage thing. What is wrong with my chest? It wants to be open, I guess. Okay. Shulker Aglet brings immunity to levitation. Ooh. These are cool. Health potion. Duct tape is going to be handy. Slimy shoes. Increase jump height and disables fall damage. That sounds a little OP. And then a bunch of other relics that we have in a million witch hats. Nifty. Well, that's about all the time we have left for this episode. Accomplished a lot today. Put together that wonderful XP farm after, you know, a few different uh, corrections. And uh, we went ahead and started enchanting our gear. And I'm going to pretend that I didn't just spend eight hours enchanting gear and min-maxing all the relics that I have. Nope. Didn't do that at all. Definitely didn't do that. And definitely not going to be spending even more time doing that now. But, while I'm wasting my time away with that, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to the channel. I find that a lot of my viewers aren't actually subscribed to the channel, and it would be really appreciative of me if you would do that. And also, make sure that you won't miss out on any of the content I'll be putting out, and there is lots of content coming. I'm very excited about this series, and I hope you guys stay tuned for more. And until next time, safe travels, everyone.